Rabbi Diddy Wax standing by the line here right now from Clinton. Uh, Rabbi, good morning. You're asking a very interesting question this morning. Yes. And that question. Good morning. And that question is: Was Alexander Hamilton Jewish? And you have an upcoming uh, talk that you're going to be doing on the uh, on the topic. And explain ex- explain where this comes from. Okay, so I am. I'm not the actual one hosting I the, the doctor... talk, although I was involved in, in yep. getting it. Um, the um, Hamilton Chabad Student Group, which is the student-run organization of Hamilton, um, which we are unofficially associated with and we work with, um, we presented this idea. There's a professor um, who has a book um, in the works with Harvard University Press, and the, um, and he makes the argument. His name is Doctor, uh, sorry, Professor Andrew Paul Anstra, and he's at Oklahoma University. And he um, um, and he has studied a lot about this, um, about Alexander Hamilton, um, and he has found evidence um, that has been, I think, ignored until now. Is is what he says. Mm. I'm not an expert on this, but um, he says that which would suggest that Alexander Hamilton may in fact have been Jewish. And so that would make yeah, that would make for a, a a Jewish forefather. Yes. Um which is quite fascinating. I mean there yeah. are things that there are there are facts that people knew just sort of fun facts um like for example that he was schooled in a Jewish uh, in a synagogue um in the country of his uh, of his birth, I forgot which country that was. So in the Caribbean, and and he, uh, mm-hmm. so there were many different um, suggestions as to why that would have been. But he really takes it a few steps further and, and claims that he may have in fact been Jewish. I don't know if it's conclusive or not. Um, I'm more fascinated from the you know from the Jewish side and from you know the history of America being so intertwined with um, Judaism and the fact that obviously. Um, students at Hamilton College, which bears his name, yeah. um, and now he may have, in fact, been Jewish. So it's, it's more of a fascinating historical um, you know, thing to look into. Well, he claims that, uh, that Hamilton actually uh, learned how to recite the Ten Commandments in Hebrew, right? Yes. Um, yes. But from what I understand, I'm not, again, I'm not a, a, histori- a historian and uh, definitely not an American history, but I, I do... Um, I know that many of the the early Americans uh, who came to America, they had uh, they knew Hebrew, and so that that isn't necessarily in and of itself. But he says the right. there's a whole collection of different details in Hamilton's life, which sort of build this picture, and the fact that his mother's surname was Levine or some similar name to that is interesting, and there's all different sort of uh, interesting uh, fun facts, and he was very un. He never spoke about his, um, you know, his religious identity, yeah. um, and he was always very sympathetic to the Jewish cause, which is, you know, was uncommon at that time, sure. unfortunately. So, uh, you know, it, it's, it definitely makes for an interesting story, I would have to say. Well, it uh, seems like all signs point to him being Jewish, then, well, to me at least. Certainly uh, sympathetic to the Jewish uh, way of life. Uh, Hamilton's Secret Jewish Life, it's uh, next Tuesday. Uh, and the Red Pit Room, room 127, and the Red Pit, I should say, room 127, and the Kerner Johnson Building at Hamilton College. Uh, and Rabbi, thank you for the update. We'll uh, see how this goes. Thank you so much for checking in.